say, my friend, this is Gerald Bass, G Bass Wealth Test Support Live from my home office in Decatur, Georgia. And I wanted to shoot a quick video today on do you have the willingness to succeed? Do you have the willingness to succeed? But I also want to tell you that I'm extremely excited to be back sharing this valuable information and content with you on a day to day basis that I know is going to accelerate your business, your income, and your lifestyle results. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been pretty busy as I wrapped up the diamond position in my primary networking company which was a huge accomplishment for myself and my team uh, not only that just dealing with my personal life as well been very busy with that with family and stuff like that and so I haven't been really able to uh, put out a lot of valuable content over the last couple of weeks but I am back as we start off the month of March I'm extremely excited got some great things I'm going to be sharing throughout the month got some webinars I'm going to be doing just to definitely assist you in really taking things to the next level and so you definitely want to tune in um, to what we have going on. I got some cool stuff that's going to be taking place. And so with that being said, you definitely want to stick around to end this video because I'm also going to be giving you access to some free trainings that I have um, that's led to my success in my business, how we actually was able to go diamond in a primary network company. They just have so much success in business over the last year in general. So you don't want to stick around to the end so you can get free access to what I'm going to be sharing with you. But let's talk about today, do you have a willingness to succeed? This actually came to me this morning. I was in the gym working out. Matter of fact, I was doing my crunches. And I was thinking about over the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to work out as much because we was on a hard push in terms of closing out the position in the primary networking company. And so my workout has been kind of off balance. And I was thinking about when I got back in there today, you know, it was very painful, of course, because, of course, when you haven't worked out, uh, in a while and you get back in there um, you know you have to get back used to that routine of working out and so um, I was just thinking about this month how I'm going to go extremely hard on my workout you know to trim down some pounds and get back a little tone going into the spring and the summer months but what I had to realize is that it's going to take time for those results to show up uh, it's not something that's going to happen overnight uh, they said Muhammad Ali, who was literally one of the best boxers in the world, in my opinion, uh, they said he used to do around like 500 sit-ups before he even started his workout. He didn't even start his workout till he started to feel pain. Okay, And so it's the same thing when it comes to your business. Okay, So many people get into like the home-based business profession, and they make those first few calls, and some people tell them no, and they say the opportunity doesn't work. Or they learn a new strategy on how to generate leads for their business. And they may shoot a couple of videos that that may be the strategy. And they don't get the leads or the traffic they want or the conversions they want, right, off of just shooting a couple of videos. And they say, you know what, that doesn't work. So I'm not going to continue with that, okay? And so in terms of having a willingness to succeed, you have to have the power to keep going. You have to have the power to endure, the power to persevere in whatever you're doing. I've been fortunate enough to generate tons of leads online for my businesses over the last year, but I've cut well over 100 videos, several blog posts on a consistent basis. And most people that I know that's very successful when it comes to lead generation online for their business, they're very consistent in developing content, putting out their content, running ads, whatever they're doing. Same thing if you're in network marketing or, like I said, part of some type of home-based business. The people that I know that's the most successful are the people that continuously connect with people, continuously get people in front of their presentation, continuously go to the events, continuously make the dials, continuously stay personally developing themselves. Those are the people that have the success. So you can't have the microwave mentality when it comes to success. One thing one of my mentors told me is that the elevator is out of order when it comes to success. You have to take the stairs. So yeah, it may be some pain up front. No pain, no gain. I was telling some of the business partners on the conference call that we did last night. Okay? No pain, no gain. So if you're not experiencing any type of pain, whether that may be your health, whether that may be building your business, okay, if you're not experiencing any type of pain in the beginning stages, then you're probably not going anywhere. Most people, they move towards pleasure and they move away from pain. But if you want success, be willing to embrace the perceived pain in the beginning stages to get a desired result that you're looking for. 
And that's what it takes in terms of having the willingness to succeed. I wanted to start the week off in terms of the month off as well, March 1st, 2016, with getting your mindset in a proper place. I'm going to be sharing some strategies on how to generate leads and all that type of stuff this week for your business, how to get more people in your pipeline, how to convert more people into customers and business partners or what have you, or whatever type of business you're building. But I wanted to start off with the mind first. This is where it starts, mindset before money. Okay? So understand what it takes to have a willingness to succeed. So with that said, I hope you got some value out of this video. Feel free to share it around on Facebook. Share it around on Twitter. Share it with your team. Share it with anybody you feel may benefit. Comment below. Drop a little comment below. Let me know if you got any value out of this video. How do you look at the willingness to succeed? I'd love to hear your feedback. Just drop a comment below. Also, subscribe to my YouTube page, Gerald Bass. I'm always dropping free training videos like this. Absolutely free. Okay. And for you stick around to the end of this video, I actually produced and developed a training a little over a year ago. Okay, and I actually haven't been sharing this training recently. Okay, because like I said, the training was created a year ago. But this particular training and the things I go through in this training has led to my success, especially in my home based business. So if you're a home based business owner, you definitely want to get access to this training. Okay. It's the seven amazingly simple steps to becoming the top producer in your business, even if you are brand new. This training is least worth around about $497 in value. But for you sticking around to the end, I want to help so many more people become successful. I'm going to give it to you today for absolutely free. Just click the link either below the video or on top of the video. If you're watching it in the blog post, just scroll down to the bottom of the blog post. Click the link, put your name and email in, and you'll have access to the training for absolutely free. No credit card, no debit card, no gimmicks. Just put your name and email in. Access to the training. They're absolutely free. And so with that said, this is Gerald Bass, G Bass Wealth Tips. Have a phenomenal day on purpose.